Hey there, it's me, Sapphire Moonbeam. I'm going to do another general reading with Lenormand cards and my Moonbeam Magic Oracle card deck. Since it is just a general reading, not all of the messages here may apply to you. Just take with you what resonates and leave behind what does not. If you'd ever like to get a private reading, please send me a message at sapphiremoonbeam.com. So... So far, we have the heart, and the dog, and the book, and the anchor, the fox, and the letter. The upper left is the heart, and she is looking through the heart. It's a about matters of the heart, kindness, compassion, love between friends, family, romantic partners. And really what I'm getting from this, seeing her like that, is she's looking through that heart. She's keeping her heart open. That's important. The dog is about being faithful and loyal and dependable energies of a best friend, and unconditional love. This is the card of the book. In this rendition of the book, she's writing in it. She's thinking about it. She's contemplating on what to, what thoughts to record. She's definitely got something on her mind that she wants to transcribe into words and be able to keep like in a diary or a journal. This might be an indication that if you're not keeping a record of your dreams, you might consider starting. Sometimes they're going to have insights that you can look back later and then understand what was coming through to you. This is the card about the letter and the letter is all about communication. It could be a letter or an email or a text, but it's some kind of communication coming in. She looks rather peaceful and easy about whatever she's reading. It's not anything bad. She's very calm. And she looks serene. The fox has clever, cunning, trickster energies at some point. The fox, though, does, with the cleverness, always gets its prey. The fox knows how to reach the goal, whatever the goal may be for you. The anchor is all about hope and being grounded and stability. And it is keeping her steady, steady on her feet there as she holds that. As you open your heart, you will, you can be steady with it. You don't have to let it get out of hand. The anchor is also very much about hope. Now I'm going to pick a few more cards. First, I'm going to pick a card for the heart. And it flew out of the deck. It is the sun. The sun is about victory and happiness and success. And everything that's around the sun grows. The heart will blossom. The heart will grow and expand especially when it stays open. Now I'm going to pick a card for the book. And she is writing down and recording, as I said, dreams earlier. These are your biggest wishes, hopes, and dreams. By this, That's what's represented by this card. Your dreams are being supported by the divine. This is the Wish Upon a Star card. And you know you have to think it, record it, write it down, and plan it as well as wish for it. Biggest wishes and dreams there. I'm going to pick a card for the letter. Oh my gosh, there's the letter again. I love it when that happens. <laughs> I really love it. Uh, there's the letter twice. So, obviously, this is a more old-fashioned letter with a, with a quill pen 
And I think this is really excellent news. I think that something that you or someone in your life has really been planning and working for, and uh, this is a big dream right here, and there is a message coming in about that dream. That's incredible. I absolutely love it when the cards come out for me more than once. That's magic right there. That is magic right there. I'm going to pull a card for the fox. Let's see what comes out for the fox. And then we have the dog again. It's the same card, the number 18. There's definitely some very loyal, trustworthy images. Whoops, there went some of my cards. <laughs> um, there's... This dog is a bit more playful. This one is relaxing and resting. Um, whatever is coming in regarding the dreams and the messages, it's something that can be considered loyal, faithful, devoted. It's friendly energy here. It's good stuff. Oh my goodness. So now I'm gonna pick a card for the anchor. Let's see what comes out for the anchor. The whip and the broom. It has a very similar color to the sun here, the sun card. The whip can be seen as something that's very passionate. It could be sometimes interpreted as conflict and strife, but in this reading, I'm seeing the whip as a very passionate, driving force towards the victory of the heart and the message coming in about a big dream. The broom you can keep handy just in case there's any negativity or naysayers around you to sweep that, that energy away. But yes, in this, I'm seeing this as a very passionate, it's not an argument type energy. There's something very passionate and hopeful and loyal and devoted coming in with this big dream and definitely a message coming in about the dream. So there's the card of the storks. Um, this is all about a brand new beginning. This is about a couple and they are planning a new place to stay. This is their nest. They're building a home together. And the stork is all about a new season, a new change, a new beginning. It's going to be a loyal, devoted, faithful, and honest new beginning. It looks really good. I'm going to pick, uh, well, no, I'm not going to use that deck. I was going to pull out the old Kipper deck, but what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to take a chance with this Cardamancy poker deck. This is based on a regular set of playing cards and it has very interesting uh, messages and card depictions in it. I'm gonna pick just one card from this. So this is the, the black joker. There's a red joker and a black joker in this. This has um, some little knives around the Joker. He looks kind of ornery. I'm feeling like that is going along with the trickster energies of the Fox. If this is a really big dream coming in for you, there may be a few naysayers. There may be some people that try to stab you a little bit or they're not happy for you. But if, as you can see, there's three that are around the, the Joker. There's two that are trying to get into the back. I don't think the Joker's worried about it. I think that the Joker is going to get through that regardless, and it's going to be okay. I'm going to go ahead and pick one more here. And that just flipped right over. This is the card like the scythe. This is the energy of harvesting something you've worked really, really hard for. It's making way for the new. It is uh, being able to gather up 
from the seeds that have been planted earlier in the year, or earlier in the month, whatever that, however that speaks for you. I'm going to, yeah, harvesting while you begin something new. Good stuff there. I'm going to pick a card or two here from my Moonbeam Magic Oracle card deck. This is my self-published deck, and this is the card that just flew out. Possibilities. It's card number 31. Let me read to you what I wrote. Each day offers blooms of endless possibilities. It is all in how you look at it. Life is all about perspective. This card comes to you as a reminder to open your eyes to the vast array of possibilities awaiting you on your life journey. There are so many beautiful things unfolding and blooming for you every day. You will see this when you take the time to notice. When you view the, uh, the I'm sorry, when you view the world through the eyes of love, you will realize the world is an entire garden of possibilities. The affirmation is, I will open my eyes to the beautiful possibilities blooming all around me. That's a really, really nice send-off message. Yes, there might be a few honorary people that are not supportive of this big dream. Um, there may even be people that are envious of your open heart and the success and victory and this passion that you share with someone. But this is... this. He's not worried about it. You know, you got to do you, you do your thing, do what makes you happy. And in this time period of these new beginnings, and as you harvest the seed of what you've planted previously, there will be a lot of loyalty and devotion around you. There also will be a brand new beginning, a brand new start. And that's exciting. I am, I'm loving the energies of this reading. I love the fact that the dog came out twice and the letter came out twice as well. So, I want to thank you for watching. If you've not subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would do so. And be sure to hit the little wiggly bell so that you can get notifications about when I add a new video to the channel. Have a really wonderful night.